Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, I am Barakat Basa. Today we will see about simple way to understand building construction. So today we will see terms used in construction, building classification, components of a building. Okay, what is construction? Construction is a process of constructing or making something by man for one purpose or another. It may be a road construction, bridge construction, or a dam construction, an airport construction, commercial building construction, etc. As you see on the pictures, there are a lot of construction types. We have like road construction, building, dam, and railway. So, building is one component of construction. Building can be generally considered as a structure consisting of roofs, walls, and roofs erected to provide covered space for different uses, such as residence, business, entertainment, places, workshop, etc. The primary use of building is for sheltering or generally for living space, which provides privacy. Also, we can use building for storage. Well, let's see building classification. We have different types of classification. The first one is based on occupancies. So, we have resident building. As the name indicates, these are occupied by person used for living like accommodation, for example, like private residences, apartments, dormitories, are classified as resident buildings. Also, we have educational building. At the name indicators, the purpose of this building are for educational instructions. The best example for this is school. Another example based on occupancy is assembly building. These are when a building occupies a group of people for amusement, recreation, or for social, political, or religious purpose, or for different types of gathering, like theaters, halls, places of worship, etc. Also, we have building like business, which are used for transaction of business, like banks, city halls, courthouses. Also, we have buildings like merchandise, which are used as shops, stores, market. At the name indicated on this picture, there are places for shopping or marketing. Also, we have industrial building. As you see on the picture, these are used for, for fabrication, for assembling, or like to process the finished materials. Example are assembly plants. Also, we have institutional buildings. These buildings are used for purposes such as medical or other treatments, or for pay penal or correctional detentions. The best example is hospitals and prison. Also, we have storage buildings. Any building which is used for storage or sheltering of goods, merchandise or agricultural products are said to be storage buildings. We can classify building based on types of construction. The first one is fire resistant construction. Here, the building elements, for example, like floors, walls, columns or roofs, they should be non-combustible. They should be sufficiently fire resistant. Another one is heavy timber construction. Here, the exterior walls are out of masonry or other non-combustible material. They should be constructed by non-combustible material. The internal structure members, like floors and roof, roofs, are constructed out of timber, either in solid or laminated forms. Another one is ordinary construction. In the ordinary construction, exterior walls are out of masonry or other non-combustible material. We can use here ordinary materials. Okay. Another one is wood frame construction. In the wood frame construction, the type of construction in which practically all of the building is out of wood or other combustible materials. Let's see components of building. Building have two major components superstructure and substructure. Substructure is a lower portion of the building, usually located below the ground level. The best example for this is foundation. Superstructure will be part of the structure which is above the ground level. The best example for this is wall, like roof, floors, columns, slabs, etc. Thank you very much. See you then.